this has been long and a really long and drawn out process. And I want to say that since the brutal attack and unwarranted brunt forced trauma to my brother's head by Nicholas Lodi with the help of James Lou Charles, his health has been drastically declining with multiple surgeries to his neck, his ears, his eyes. And now, as he told you, he's going blind. So it's a big toll on him and the family to care for him. Nicholas Lodi's use of excessive force without justification is unacceptable. And it's not his first time. As the attorney told you, 15 prior violations by Nicholas Lodi. The police should be protecting, not terrorizing the community. This type of behavior should not be condoned by anyone, not the police department, not the police union, not the judicial system, and least not Adam Myers, the president of the police union, who should know better and he should do better. Anyone who engages in supporting this type of behavior, whether it's the community leaders or the community at large, which hopefully we will have them on, on the case as witnesses, as the jury, they can see through this. Thank God for videos, because if we did not have a video, I don't know what would happen to this case. My brother would die in prison, and thanks to the public defender's office for getting him out. Anyone who engages in supporting this type of behavior by a police officer is in fact a co-conspirator. And this has to end. This has to end. This has to end. Nicholas Lodi cannot get away with this. Adam Myers cannot get away with this. Otherwise, it will continue. Thank you.